Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Bulletproof jackets are critical piece of protective gears for soldier. According to government projection, more than 3 lakh bulletproof jackets will be required by Indian Armed Forces. Back in July 2022, MOD has approved multiple defense procurement which also includes the bulletproof jackets with Indian standard BIS level 6 of protection. Last year, DRDO has announced to have developed a lightweight bulletproof jacket with the help of new technology. The jackets has been developed by Kanpur-based Defense Material and Stores Research and Development Establishment. DRDO is also working on the world's lightest bulletproof fabric in collaboration with Academia. These technologies, which are being developed, are then transferred to private firms for the production of the bulletproof jackets for armed forces. The private firms such as SMPP Private Limited, MKU and Tata Advanced Materials are the major suppliers of these jackets to armed forces. DRDO has issued industrial license to 15 companies for manufacturing these jackets having production capacity in the country of over 10 lakhs per annum to meet domestic and export requirements. India also exports the bulletproof jackets to 18 countries. Now, Talking about the raw materials which is used in these jackets, it is a synthetic bulletproof fabric which is imported by India. The western suppliers from US and Europe maintain high quality and also consistency and that is why their cost is also high. Now as per report, Indian vendors responsible for supplying the BPJ to Indian Armed Forces presented jackets that contained raw material from western sources that is from Europe and US for selection trials but changed later uh, after winning the contract. As per the ET March 2019 report, a chunk of rupees 639 crore was paid for jackets by Indian Army landed up with Chinese companies after Indian company changed its suppliers from western source after winning the procurement contest. A sizable amount of foreign exchange was diverted to China. Isn't it ridiculous that we are producing the protective gears with the help of Chinese firms and benefiting them while we lost 20 of our brave soldiers during Galwan Valley conflict of 2020 with Chinese PLA Army. Back in 2020, the Niti Aayog member VK Saraswat had said that Indian companies manufacturing the bulletproof jackets for army personnel should avoid importing raw materials from China because of the inconsistencies in the quality of the shipments. Saraswat, who is also a former DRDO chief, had told Niti Aayog committee has made very clear recommendations to use indigenous material as much as possible and whenever indigenous material are not available and the import is the required option, then import from China should be avoided because of the inconsistent quality. Now as per the latest report from ET, cracking the whip on sneaky use of the raw materials from China for bulletproof jackets supplied to armed forces, the defense ministry has mandated that Indian manufacturers need to certify that they are not dealing with Chinese entities. The move came after a row over the bulletproof jacket supplied in bulk to army had a significant amount of Chinese content. A new tender issued by the Coast Guard has a specific clause that bans the use of raw material from China. The contract for 746 jackets mandates that competing Indian vendors have to submit a certificate specifying that raw materials will not be imported from China. At the same time, Indian Army, which has already inducted BPJs from Chinese, at the same time, the Indian Army, which has already inducted the bulletproof jackets with Chinese content, is likely to float tenders for procurement of protective gear in future as emergency financial powers have been granted by the defense ministry. While the government is pushing for make in India initiative and benefit and encourage the private firms, it's the moral responsibility to not import the raw material from China. Also, if the lightweight bulletproof vests and helmets are produced in bulk quantity within the country, it will ensure the low cost supplies and endless wait for the foreign vendors to supply the equipment. This is where MOD will have to help private firms with the bulk order. The government has also sought product-wise details of cheap imports, comparison with domestic prices and tax disadvantage, if any, from the industry to curb the low quality inbound shipments, especially from China, and boost the domestic manufacturing to cut import and dependency from China. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.